Hello. Welcome to my channel. Yes, you are welcome. Today I'm making a video on how to use Ashoke to create a very unique auto game. So it looks like a fascinator at the same time is an auto game. So what I need to do is first of all start with my major mains. So I will cut out 20 inches and I will cut out three of it. So I will cut out three of it. One will be the base and then the remaining two will be the covering of the base. That is, it will be used to cover the back. Yes. So the base, the back, I'll sew it together. I'll show it to you. Then we'll go straight to cutting out the next part that I need, which has to do with the bow, because I'll be creating a bow. I'll be making bows. So to create the bow, I will cut out about six pieces of this Ashoke length that we use. And the length I will be using is 15 inches. 15, yes. So I will cut out 15 inches into six places. Six places for the 15 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So lastly, I will cut out the part I will be using to create the pleat on top of the gilly. So I will use 33 inches. And I will need to cut out four pieces of that, four pieces because it is a half roll of ashoke i really have to make do with what i have if i have more ashoke i would have loved to make at least eight pieces for the folding rather than four but because this is what i have that's what i'm using so this is the base is prepared the auto gele base, the band is there, the covering is there. And then secondly, these are the part of the ashoke I want to use to create the bow. So what I did was to sew in, I uh, M the edges, that is I sew the edges so that it will not lose. Despite the fact that I'm creating a bow with it, I want a situation where it will not lose and the it will not uh uh that's it shouldn't draw rope i mean it should not lose that's just the reason i have to aim it and then this is the part i want to use to create the fold i want to fold it arrange it like i'm creating an all-round auto gilly so this is the part i will be arranging i said before if i have enough material or fabric i would have loved to make this step eight instead of four for me four is too small it will not be high enough but if you have eight it will be high enough but now this is all i have because it is half roll of ashoke that i am using is that okay so this is how i carefully fold I'll just fold and arrange it upon each other carefully. So when I finish folding the beginning, where I'm folding now, I'll first of all use needle and thread to hold it down so that I will not lose the pleat. Then as I hold it down, I will continue with the fold as in I will move ahead and fold every other part of this 
Ashoke until every of the length is folded. But all I need to do is follow it carefully. So this first part that I'm folding now is very important to me because that's what will give me the lines that I will be following as I fold the remaining part of the Ashoke. So I'll quickly finish up with it and then I'll show you uh, the final look. But this is how it is. You can see that what I have is well arranged. So while you are folding, you have to ensure that the first size you started with is what you finish with so that you will not have a, some part that is small and some other part that is uh, too wide. Is that okay? All right. So this top is ready. Now, the base, I've showed it to you before. The base is ready. So I will fix the, the top, which is the pleat now. I will fix it to the base. Then this, um, the strategy to fix is what you really need. You need to fix it carefully and it should be in, um, what do I call the shape? Half semicircle shape as you fix. You understand? Starting from the beginning like you see me now. But as I begin to move in, as I move in, I'll push it upwards and then after the middle, I'll begin to step down again. So the basic thing is that it will look like a semi-circle. So as the uh, top is now, it is still well secured with thread. But when I finish fixing now, I'll quickly uh, cut off the thread and then I will attach uh, and handle to it so that it will help me to that's a rope handle so that it will help me to keep it in place and also to tie it to tie it as well all right so now i am done i'll just cut off the thread this is the thread that was used to uh, secure it so right now i'll just cut it off pull it off completely and then I will attach handle to it. The handle will help me to keep the folding in place. So you can see that I did not sew it, but you can sew. There's nothing wrong in sewing. Because of the design I am making, I just feel what's the use because while I will be fixing the design, I will also be sewing. So I did not really sew. But if it's going to give you any challenge, I advise that uh, you sew it, sew it, sew it so that it will not give you challenge. But because I am used to this and I can always... Uh, so, after pleating it together carefully, I'll just cut off the excess part and then I will attach uh, an handle to it. That handle will help uh, for the tying at the back and then uh, it will also help me to keep the pleat together. Is that okay? All right. So this is ready. I'm just fixing the handle. Just, just simply taking the pieces I cut off from the side. I told you before that the ashoke is very small. It's just half roll and creating this style with half roll is very challenging. So it was from the part I cut off, I managed to get some pieces that I am using now to uh, uh, attach to the edges as handle. So both sides are ready. Both sides. I did not do this on camera, so please. I have other videos where I have to attach handles to my auto gele, and I actually showed it clearly. So 
if you are interested, I guess you uh, get those videos, you will get it there. This was the only part I omitted in this video. And I kind of apologize, it wasn't really delivery. All right, so uh, it's time for me to create the bow. I want to create the bow. So to, I told you I cut about six pieces of 15 inches. So I'll be using that to create the bow. And what I just did uh, was to fold it into two equal parts and then use my needle and thread to create uh, loose stitches and then pull it together. And I'll have something looking the way you are seeing now, looking so beautiful like this. Just with that, you have something beautiful already. So I will just keep um, folding, doing the loose stitches, and then sewing it together. So I have just six pieces. I will work with five. The sixth one, I will use it to create, uh, to cover the bow. So I cannot finish the six. I'm just going, I need part of it that I will use to cover the bow. So this is how the auto gele or fascinator, Ashoki fascinator will look like me. I don't know what to call it. So sometimes some of my subscribers will say, what's the name for it? I don't know. I don't know the name. <laughs> I don't know the name. Sometimes I just come up with funny, funny names that are not even existing. So I don't really know the name. So I just know that it looks like a fascinator. It also looks like Ashoke. So maybe we can call it uh, Ashoke Fascinator or Auto Gele with Fascinator. I think any of these two names are perfect. So I'm creating the final bow that I'll be using to line it up that is cover up the finishing so you can do that just using uh, one single uh, ash okay and if that's what you want it means the length for that is going to double the length i have been using so it's going to be like 30 inches because you will not need to fold it to meet at the midpoint before using the loose stitches to do your finishing but since i did not do that i actually just sew two of it together and it gave me something perfect. So it was from the sixth one that I have to cut out some parts to wrap my finishing. So you can see why I said it was five I used. So that part, I will just use needle and thread to sew it, to do that covering. And then this is how it will look. And then I will attach it to the toban. No, to the auto gele, please. But um, I did not, I finished attaching the the first part of the bow to the auto gele before using hot glue before using hot glue to now attach the final part so please do not do your finishing on the bow before sewing because if you do that the thread will come out from your bow because you will try to like fix it in a way that it will be firm now so because of that, the thread might come out. So as much as possible, try to uh, fix the first part. Then you do your covering with these parts. Eh? And you don't need to sew. Just use hot glue to gum it. Bam, gum it. Or gum it, please. That's the neatest. Then after gumming, you just use some strategic position eh? to like... Um, um, use some strategic position to stitch and that will just be all. All right. This is it for today. I am done with today's tutorials. I do hope you love this one. It's lovely. It's beautiful for shabby guests. It's unique. Just check it out where you see like 10, 15 to 20 girls putting this on to your occasion. So it's so easy, but yet unique. By the way, you can stone it as well. So a quick one, if today is your first time stopping by Creative Ends platform and you are yet to subscribe to this channel, mm, let me gym. Let me gym. Let me ginger up first. 
before we ask, what are you waiting for? All right, so if today's your first time stopping by Creative S platform and you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so before leaving today. And I promise to see you in my next